Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. In this Mass, we pray in thanksgiving for the gift of life of Marisa de la Cruz. Brothers and sisters, as we come together, we acknowledge our sinfulness. We also acknowledge God's forgiveness and God's mercy and love to each one of us. So we ask forgiveness and pardon. I confess Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have gravely sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my most grievous faults. <coughs> Brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who sent your only begotten Son into this world to free the human race from its ancient enslavement, Bestow on those who devotedly await him the grace of your compassion from on high, that we may attain the price of true freedom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Thus says the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, People of Zion, you will live in Jerusalem and weep no more. He will be gracious to you when he hears your cry. When he hears, he will answer. When the Lord has given you the bread of suffering, the water of distress, he who is your teacher will hide no longer, and you will see your teacher with your own eyes, whether you turn to right or left, your ears will hear these words behind you. This is the way, follow it. He will send rain for the seed you sow in the ground and the bread that the ground provides will be rich and nourishing. Your cattle will graze that day in white pastures, oxen and donkeys that till the ground will eat a salted fodder, renowned with shovel and fork. On every lofty mountain, on every high hill, there will be streams and water courses on the day of the great slaughter when the stronghold fall. Then moonlight will be bright as sunlight, and sunlight it will be seven times brighter, like the light of the seven days in the one. On the day the Lord dresses the wound of his people and heals the bruises his blows have left. The word of the Lord. Be Responsorial Psalm. Happy are all who long for the coming of the Lord. Praise the Lord for he is good. Sing to our God for he is loving. To him our praise is due. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and brings back Israel's exile. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up all their wounds. He fixes the number of the stars. 
He calls each one by its names. Our Lord is great and almighty. His wisdom can never be measured. The Lord raises the lowly. He humbles the wicked in the dust. Please stand for our gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord will judge us by his law. He is our King and Savior. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. From the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus made a tour through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, and curing all kinds of diseases and sickness. And when he saw the crowds, he felt sorry for them, because they were harassed and dejected, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is rich, but the laborers are of you. So ask the Lord for the harvest to send laborers to his harvest. He summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits with power to cast them out and to cure all kinds of diseases and sickness. These twelve Jesus sent out, instructing them as follows. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and as you go, proclaim that the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out devils. You receive without charge, give without charge. The Gospel of the Lord. He felt sorry for them because they were harassed and dejected like a sheep without shepherd. Jesus is so close to the disciples, so close to the community, and he can see what's going on individually and also in the community. And he can see that these people, they are really kind of lost. He can, he can see that they are like a sheep without a shepherd. And it's very interesting that Jesus told his disciples to pray for more laborers. In our church today, especially in the Church of Australia, we really, uh, we really pray very hard that we have shepherds, we have laborers for the harvest. We really need leaders in our church, not just priests, religious, but also lay leaders to be with the community, to have the heart of Jesus, to have a compassion to all, and also providing leadership in our different communities, especially in the parish community. So it's really good for us in our prayers, in the family, in our homes, in our parish church, that we pray for vocations, vocations to the priesthood, vocations to religious life, and also vocations of lay leadership in our different parish communities, in our diocese, and also in the whole church. Bless say, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of your hands, it will become for us the bread of life.
Bless our Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work. Ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at this first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, our hosts, heaven and earth your Son, and Holy Spirit, indeed holy, O Lord, Fount of all holiness. Make holy the holy peace to pray by sending down your spirit upon them like Jesus, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it. Give it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, O Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Vincent our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the Blessed Apostles, 
all the saints who have wished you throughout the ages may merit to be cures of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form with divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. It has operated under the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am Lord, I am Lord. Spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
Let us pray. We implore your mercy, O Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Have a good weekend, Seven.